uh, the wind rider bow spread so this is what I got done for my boat so the extension part is 10 inches forward of the bow and it's just a piece of stainless steel pipe that I welded to a piece of C channel and it is attached right to the bow cleat and then on the front here I welded the tab on the front you can see right there so if you wanted to change it back to stock you just put the stock tang back on well with, with it being on top of the pole I had to move the uh, part to hook the forestay to a little bit forward so that's what I came up with uh, it's been on there for about five years and we've used it and haven't had any problems yet the bow sprit when it's hooked in and attached uh, a bolt goes through the bow sprit and through these two holes right here and it's five foot forward of the bow and that's how far uh, the bow sprit is and it's made from a windsurfer mast and that's the little bolt that I got to uh, hold it in place. It's not that big. It, all it does is it keeps it from uh, going back any further or out. Then I've got uh, three stay wires that I put on there, which is on the end of the bow sprit. One goes to each side of the uh, the boat, and then the other one attaches to the where the boat hook is to hold it to the trailer. But the other ones go into the arms right here and I've got eye bolts that I put in there and then the wires attached to that and you can just about lift the whole boat up by the bow sprit so it's pretty strong it's not like what the wind rider makes which is just a ring right here and it goes through and then it whatever it didn't seem like it was that strong but this thing here you can lift the whole boat up and uh, I've been pretty happy with it that's about it